we were talking about its ability to come through any kind of cover is really what makes it shine. Uh, one, one of the best scenarios I can give you um, is just fishing big grass beds. Like today we're here in Florida, but it could be grass beds in New York. It could be grass beds in California, Texas, and everywhere in between. It allows you to cover an immense amount of water in a short period of time. And hey, let's face it, everybody doesn't get to go out and go fishing 100 days a year, 200 days a year like some lucky people do. There's a lot of people out there that get to fish one day on a weekend every two weekends. You know, so you wanna be able to maximize your time on the water. Well, this very simple swim worm right here is one of the ways that you can absolutely maximize every minute that you have out on the water. Take a big expanse of grass, for instance. You sit down and you go, wow, I guarantee you there's bass in that grass bed for sure, zero doubts. But where are they? Because it's all beautiful, we're just saying, a, for instance, a beautiful, green, vibrant milfoil bed. You're like, man, that looks good, but where do I start? We only got a day, right? You pick up this guy, just start covering that grass bed. It's not like you're pitching or flipping or something, you're, you're dobbing down in there trying to, you know, trying to pick it apart and you, and you fish for a half hour and you've only went, you've only went 30 or 40 yards and, and, and this thing's 500 yards long by 200 yards wide. You know, you're not gonna find them in an efficient period of time when you're, when you're doing that. But with a swim worm, like I said, it's super efficient at covering water. Literally, put your trolling motor on 30 or 40% and just start firing this swim worm all over that grass bed. You're gonna get bites on it. Now, you may wanna come back to some of those areas where you got bites and maybe try a different technique. But this guy, not only will it catch you the fish, but it's gonna show you the areas where, where most of the fish are. And maybe there was only two or three that were active enough to come up and chase and eat this swim worm. But what, ha what they did is they towed on all their buddies. So you may be able to come back and catch them in a, you know, in a different way, different bait. But, before we get away from a swim worm, let me give you this caveat. We were talking about we're covering water. We're firing it out there, we're reeling it in. Firing it out there, reeling it in. Once you catch a fish or two in an area, there's no sense to even change baits. Just start fishing it slower. Just start letting it fall down in the grass. You, you got the, you, it's almost like changing baits without having to sit down, get in your box, get in your bag, pull another bait out, changing around. This bait is, 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 has so many different facets that it can do just by changing the retrieve. And oh yeah, we were talking about slowing down. Guess what else this bait does really well? Acts kind of like a buzz frog or a buzz toad on the surface. With this tail, as soon as it hits the water, hold your rod tip up and start reeling comes right across the top and all of a sudden you've got a buzz toad. Well, a little more slender body buzz toad, but you've got something buzzing across the surface. So basically, you can take this bait, you've got a buzz frog or a buzz toad, right? Center of the water column, you've got basically a slender swim bait. If you let it sink down into the grass, and hop it or drag it, you've got your traditional Texas rig worm. So the beauty of the swim worm is literally you have three baits in one only by changing your retreat. And the information Bash University provides isn't your basic run-of-the-mill fishing video. This is specific information from A to Z to help you learn, get to the water, and become a better angler quickly.